What's up guys, Road Rooster coming to you from this Petro out here in Kansas. Just uh, taking that good old rest break. I'm gonna get started early in the morning and uh, start heading up to Massachusetts. Hopefully the weather ain't too bad for me in the training, but getting them miles in, getting that practice in, hopefully by next week we'll be back in Springfield and we can uh, get this CDL trifecta and move on to TNT. But I just wanna take this opportunity to do this video. Uh, guy went in to go do some laundry while we have a little bit longer break since uh, we only got like, I think, seven hours we can run tomorrow because of recaps. But I gotta be in Massachusetts by Tuesday, make this delivery, and then work our way back towards Missouri, kinda getting some practice in. Been really tight schedule, so I haven't got to get a whole lot of extra in. But a couple days on the pad when we get back, I'm pretty sure we'll have all this back and down pack. Getting better every day, and that's the goal. But, you know, whenever it comes to training, both trainer and trainee you gotta work together you gotta you know pay attention and listen you know as a trainer I've come to find out you know you gotta it's a lot different than just being out here doing it man like you gotta learn you know how to make sure people understand because you can say something you know and it makes sense to you but it ain't always going to make sense to somebody else. So, you know, the biggest thing is whenever you tell somebody something, you know, ask if they understand and let them do it. Uh, you know, if they don't understand, re-explain. Maybe try explaining it a different way or, you know, hell, if you got to, tell them the same thing again until they get it. You know, show them what it means. Walk them through it and then let them do it. If they mess up, don't get pissed, you know. Take your time get it done again but definitely a learning curve we're getting there and uh you know my dude's doing better every day and i ain't trying to get nobody to come out here and do miracles not everybody knows what they're doing you know grasp it as quick as somebody else so everybody you just gotta kind of start with a clean slate see what they can do you know don't ask for miracles but all i want to see is an improvement every day you know take what i told you yesterday take what you've learned build on it get better same thing with running the clock man i don't care if you come out here at first and you can only run three hours and that's all you can do that's all you can do tomorrow let's try and do three hours and ten minutes you know let's work it on up by the time we get that license we want to be able to run most of the shift you don't like running at night hell guess what i don't like running at night but you got to figure it out you know get a good night's rest don't stay up all night you know get up there in that bunk Force yourself to get some sleep and, uh, you know, get up the next morning. You know, at first, had him, you know, just get in the passenger seat. I'm going to drive. You know, you don't feel comfortable driving, can't stay awake over here falling asleep in the passenger seat, but at least you know what it's like to be up, be running at night. You know, you're up most of the time. Do a night or two. You know, like this morning, we went ahead and we got started early. It's still dark out, but got it going you know and then throughout this week we're going to work on a little bit more you know your trainer you're in psd this is the best time to do the shit you're uncomfortable with because they're going to be watching you they're watching what you're doing if the situation gets unsafe i'm gonna tell you hey let's pull over here let me take over you did good and keep on moving you know just improve every day another thing you know trainers you know this is new to people so Whenever you get out here, be encouraging. You know, if they've made mistakes, correct them. But whenever they do good, tell them they do good. Give them a fist bump. Tell them good job. Let them know that you see the improvement that they're out here making every day. Because, you know, they're out here for the same reason you're out here. You came out here because you either wanted to better yourself, better your family. You know, pick the lifestyle because it's something you felt you'd like. Whatever the reason, you know, they're out here for their own reasons too. They ain't out here for nothing and you know except for during this psd phase they're out here and they're not getting paid so you know 
buy them dinner. You ain't gotta buy it every night. Buy them something every once in a while. Show them that you appreciate the hard work that they're putting in to try and make these moves and try and make this shit happen. You know, make sure they got what they need. If they need something, help them out. I ain't saying go out and spend all your money, but show them appreciation. Show them that you understand because most of y'all have been here before. Most of the people that are becoming trainers, you know, you either had a bad experience, a good experience, or indifferent. No matter what, you should be striving to make that experience that your student has that much better. You know, that's what I hope to do moving forward. And, you know, I know I'm the world's worst. I can be an asshole. I get frustrated, everybody does. But you gotta remember that they're doing their best and they're doing what they can do. All you can do is the same. You know, not everybody learns the same. Not everybody's gonna comprehend or pick up things the same. So you gotta kinda cater to how they learn and how they do everything because not everything's a one shoe fits all. Uh, you know, trainees, whenever you're coming out here, man, don't watch a video, you know, and base your whole experience that you're planning on having or your expectations on what you see other people doing. You know, that person is their own person. They're going to teach their own way. They're going to do things their own way. I promise you, their fleet manager isn't going to have them out there training if they don't, you know, think that they can do the job. Hopefully, that trainer is going to be like me. And they're going to know that they wouldn't be out here doing this job if they weren't trying to help you better your situation and to get to where you want to be and be successful and safe about it. You know, I know for a fact, if I didn't want to see my trainee be successful to better their life and to have the passion that I have for what I do, I wouldn't be out here no matter how much my fleet manager asked me to. But at the end of the day, that's what I wanted to see happen. You know, whenever I got the call, I didn't get a call with my fleet manager asking me to put somebody else on, somebody like somebody else on the road. My fleet manager gave me a call and said, hey, it's time I need more Avery's on the road. So what am I gonna give him? I'm gonna give him more meat because whenever I train somebody, I'm gonna train them to be effective and efficient and safe like I have been since I got here. You know, everybody's gonna do their best, but everybody's their own person. So not only do trainers have to realize that with trainees and train them catered kind of their learning style, but trainees, whenever you come in here, realize that you aren't gonna get trained like somebody you watched on YouTube trains. You aren't gonna get you know, taught in the order or the way that you might be thinking. So you have to be open-minded and you have to get out there, try your best, bust your ass, and have confidence that your trainer is gonna work to the best of their abilities to make you successful, safe, and have that passion. Now, I know there's stories and everything about, you know, not trainers that aren't a good trainer, don't do things. If that's the case, make it known, you know. Call up the fleet manager. You can find it in your app if your trainer hadn't already told you about it. Talk to them. You know, maybe it's just a disagreement or a miscommunication on how things go or how things should go. But, you know, in this part, trainers and trainees, all you can do is do your best. Improve every day. If you need to become a better trainer, try your best every day. You'll get there. If you're a trainee, man, try your best every day. You'll get there. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Nothing's gonna come perfect the first time. You know, you just gotta keep on pushing, keep on trucking. Right. You know, it's just some thoughts that I've been having, you know, and I get it. You, you know, you're trying to make them miles and everything, but I had a, a student that was in training talking to me saying that you know they were 
doing the PSD part, they went out on the road and you know that they haven't done any backing yet. They all they did was drive some. Man, let them back even hell even if as a trainer you're driving, you know, you got them up in the front seat. Whenever you get somewhere, you know, it's a tight schedule, hell, have them hop in the seat, you go into training mode, let them clock in, let them bump them docks, let them back up that trailer, get in those parking spots whenever you stop. I understand there's times that you gotta hurry up and get it done because, you know, you're crunching for time on a load or something, but there's plenty of time to give them some practice. And you ain't gotta sit out there and do practice a whole bunch of different drills, set them up in different ways that they would be taking the test, get them some practice in, you know, get them acclimated to how the trailer works. Because you can do any maneuver by using reference points, but first you gotta know how the trailer works, you gotta know how to look in both mirrors, you gotta know how to see everything around you. So, you know, just think about that. Anyways, I know I'm probably just kind of ranting, but you know, this is just the thoughts I had and a message to all the trainers or future trainers and the trainees out there, people coming to school, whether it be Prime or something, you know, some other school, some other trucking company, just to keep an open mind, do your best, improve every day, and get to where you want to be. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Till next time, y'all keep safe and keep trucking.